When I opened up a relationship that had been monogamous for eight years, I was prepared to feel jealous. But I wasn't prepared for the radical shift in my thinking about that relationship. We both became much more autonomous, and it was a large adjustment getting used to our increased autonomy. It was scary to step out on my own at first, but once I got used to it, well, it was the thing I most loved about being polyamorous, being autonomous, independent, but not alone, between my friends and loves. And it was something I never wanted to give up, even if I were to find myself monogamous again one day. But I'll be the first to admit that it was awkward at first. Part of what can feel daunting when trying to navigate polyamorous relationships is how few cultural models we have for a lot of what happens. How are you supposed to work out a system of living with someone and sharing resources while dating other people separately? And then one day it occurred to me, I did have good cultural models, they just weren't romantic. Roommates run into the same issues that we were facing. And with that, a really helpful tool was born, the good roommate standard. The good roommate standard is a simple self-check. Am I being a good roommate to my partner by doing this? And it's also a good check for others. Is this behavior I'd tolerate from a roommate? Here are some examples of the good roommate standard in practice. If your date is cold, you can lend them a piece of your clothing, not your partner's. If you mess up the kitchen cooking for a date, clean up after yourself. Don't expect your partner to do it. And when inviting a new partner into a shared bed for sleeping or having a lot of fun, you should come up with guidelines that everyone can agree to and stick to them. The same goes for any system you work out to prevent a random walk-in on amorous encounters. In addition to the classic sock on the doorknob system, there's also sending a warning text or limiting encounters to certain areas of the shared dwelling. What's important here is coming up with a system that works for your situation and sticking to it. Now don't get me wrong, a nesting partner isn't the same thing as a roommate. I'm not suggesting that seeing other people will turn your domestic partner into just a roommate. In my experience, the opposite is true. Other partners have a way of thrumming up new relationship energy in my older relationships. But the good roommate standard can be really helpful for a simple reason. When you live with someone you love, you should treat them just as well, if not better, than you treat a roommate. This has been The Good Roommate Standard. For more information on polyamorous relationships and other relationship topics, check out the rest of our videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.